Hearing from parents of middle school students in the Frontier District. A man who used to drive their kids' bus is now under investigation by police. District leaders fired him after they say he told the students on his bus to watch a sexually explicit YouTube video. You can imagine how parents are feeling after hearing this. News 4's Katie Alexander joins us live now. She's at police headquarters. Katie. Well, Teresa, we are still waiting for any official word from town of Hamburg police about the investigation. At this point, they have not released the man's name, but we do know know he is out of a job today and that's something parents we talked to were happy to hear. I'm glad that the school district took prompt action even if they still have a pending investigation. That investigation was prompted after yesterday's morning bus run when Frontier Middle School students came forward to school officials and said their new substitute bus driver had told them the name of an inappropriate, sexually explicit video to watch online on their phones. I, I just, I can't even believe what I was hearing, that this bus driver was telling these kids to watch this YouTube video. It was just so bad. I mean, even the principal said it was, at, quote unquote, sadist, sadistic. Frontier Middle School's principal contacted all of the parents of the students on the bus at the time of the alleged incident. Mr. Sikorsky has been awesome with communicating any information to any parents anytime that there is any type of an incident within the school. Celeste Chase's two middle schoolers were not on the bus at the center of this investigation, but News 4 did speak to a parent of a student who was. She asked that we not give her name so we could spare her child embarrassment. I asked her about it when she came home from school. She told me about it, and she was actually afraid to talk to me about it because she thought I was going to yell at her because it was just so bad. I have an eighth grader and a sixth grader, and I have to say it does worry me to see a lot of the information that's out there, but I'm, I'm very lucky that my kids are very forthright in coming to me and saying, Mom, this happened at school. Now, Chase is applauding the students who went to the school officials to report what they say happened on that bus. Kudos. Now, right now, we are still waiting to hear from police about what charges, if any, that bus driver could face. Make sure you stick with us on News 4 and at WIVB.com for updates as we get more information. Reporting live in the town of Hamburg, Katie Alexander, News 4. The Frontier School Superintendent, we talked to him about this, says he used Twitter and Facebook to let parents know about this last night and that student safety comes first. He couldn't go into much detail about this particular case, but says they generally interview everyone involved when there is an investigation like this and then decide how to handle it. When it comes to this sort of thing, we don't mess around. Um, we take this really, really seriously. So um, we take it as far uh, as we are legally able to take it. Counselors, psychologists, and social workers generally will follow up with students after something serious like this happens to make sure they're okay. That's what Dr. Apethorpe says.